Building a landing page to build your email list can be a difficult task. Luckily, there are solutions to that. Nowadays, with AI, you can build your landing page within a matter of seconds. So let me show you how you can do this. The first thing we do is we head over to mixo.io. If you want to follow along, click the link in the description down below and let's get started. We click on get started for free and this brings us to a prompt setup. So over here it asks us what our ID is about. This can be about your service, about your product, about your business, anything that you want to use to gather your leads. If you already have an idea what your business is about, then be as direct as possible. Add in all the information that you know and enter it in the prompt, but also try to keep it short and concise. So I have this great idea about starting a subscription-based tropical food company. What this will do is it will deliver the freshest fruit to your doorstep every week. So let me enter it into the prompt. So once you got your prompt ready, you click on generate site and now it is generating the website. It does everything from the name, the logo, the whole setup. The best thing is you don't have to do any coding, any designing or any of that. It all generates it in a matter of seconds. So while it's working on this, let me, oh, it's already done. So that's how fast this works. So this is the website that we have created. As you can see, there is a nice part where you can enter your email address. So if anyone is interested in this business, they can enter the email right there and then they can get more information. That's the way this website is set up right now. It also has a review section on here, a quote from one of our customers. It shows some pictures. It has the whole explanation in there. So in the bottom of our website, we also have another opt-in section. So this works really easy. Um, if you want to customize it, then right now you can just customize the image selection. If you don't like it, you can click on refresh and now it will give you some new pictures. If you don't like the pictures, you can also add your own pictures. You can also add your own text. But the whole setup, the whole layout, it's already generated for you. So let's customize this website. So here we can customize our website. It has this nice layout with the hero section, features, testimonials, FAQ and all of that. First thing I want to point out is at the bottom of the page, you see this section right here. It's built using AI by Mixo. If you want to remove that, then you have to go to settings. Then you click on configuration and over here you can disable the badge. For this, you need to pro plan how much this costs and which one is the best, I will show you later. So if you go to the settings right there, you can customize your logo. If you have your own logo, I would highly suggest to add it right there because the logos by Mixo are a bit basic, but overall this tool still works pretty well. So let me show you, you can also change the logo to large or you can make it also smaller. Um, if you want to change the primary color of your website, this will mainly mean like the button and some other minor details like these little dots right there. Then you can click on the color right there and you can customize it to the color that you like. There are also some options to change the SEO, for example, the title, the description and the site image. Here's how you can change each section within Mixo. So let's head over to our hero section. If you don't like the title, you can type something else in here. Um, for example, if you change it to off the tropics at your own doorstep, not sure if that makes sense, but let's do it anyway. Um, then you can also change the subtitle. That's this part. And you can also change um, the call to action right now. It's as a sign up form, but you can also make it a subscribe button. So for example, you can click on this, you can change the text, uh, sign up now. And what this will do is it will redirect you to a page where they can leave their sign up details. Um, but for now, let's use the sign up form because I like that the most. You can change the placeholder text. For example, right now it is enter your email, but you can also, but you can also make it something like enter your email to get more information. And what this will do is once they click on this, they can leave their email right there. So you can also change this image. Um, it is connected to Unsplash, which is a free stock image website. So for example, if you want to change this to another form of coconut, then you can click on one and it will change it to that. If you have your own pictures, then of course you can upload your own images. You can also add a Vimeo or a YouTube link, which will play a video on that section of your website. You can customize everything from the rating. You can add stars, you can add like information about your product or your service or anything that's relevant to this. Um, if you have already like all of your information in one place, for example, you already have all the information in a Word document, then I would highly suggest just changing each section 
make it more custom to your own and this way you can have your website. So if you have a landing page and you want to include a FAQ, then you scroll down to the FAQ section, you click on show section, and now you can add questions in there. For example, this one has a, how much does it cost? Um, you can provide information about that. You can add any question that you'd like. I would be as detailed as possible, but make it not too long because if it is too long, then people might scroll past it and they won't sign up to your email list. So this is just one landing page. If you want to have multiple pages within your website, then you can add another page. The way you do that is you head over to pages, you click on new page right there, and now you can add a few more options to your website. For example, an about us page, a product page, a service page, or a pricing page and a privacy policy. On every website, I would highly suggest to have a privacy policy so people know what you do with their information. Depending on the website that you need, for example, if you have a product, then add a product page. If you have a service, then add a service page, which is a bit more detailed about what your service is about. Let me give you an example of a website that I created for my business. This is a marketing agency and I need a way that people can get in touch with me. So essentially what they will do is they leave their email and then I can get in touch with them. On this website, I have the pro plan. This means that I have five pages and let me show you what those pages look like. This is the website that I created with the growth plan. Um, this costs like $19 a month and this allows you to add multiple pages. So for example, right there I have our services, I have our work and an about us page. So as you can see right here, people can leave their email and I will show you where that goes. So let me just type on in test123 at gmail.com. And if you click on get in touch, now it will be submitted. You can also change the, what it says right there. For example, right now I have success. We will be in touch soon. And what this does to me is if I go to my dashboard, then I can see the recent subscribers that are right there. What I can do now is I can download that list. I can add that into my email marketing software, for example, MailChimp. And now I can start a funnel, sending them new emails every week. I can send a custom message or anything that I'd like. So what this does, it gathers all your emails into one place and you can download your subscribers right there. And this will give you an Excel list with all of your email subscribers. That sounds all nice, but how much does this cost? Well, let me explain to you. If you want to change your domain name, then you would need a premium website. If you also want to remove the watermark, then you will also need a premium website. This will cost at least $9 a month. If you have the yearly option, then you will get 20% off, which is a big discount, but it's completely up to you if you want to go with the monthly one or the yearly one. So if you want a custom domain, for example, right now I have this domain by Mixo, which is videoeditpro.mixo.io. It's not bad, but it's not like really custom, really professional. Then you would need a pro plan. Um, you can get started for $9 a month. This will allow you to get a single web page. So that means that you cannot add like an about us page. You cannot add the privacy policy. You can also not add a product page or anything like that. You just have one landing page. If you want a website like this, for example, with multiple pages set up, um, even for example, if you click on our services, you can set up like a, even with this one, if you click on get started, then you can add another page to that, which will link you to like a sign up form or anything that you'd like. So if you want that, then you would need the growth site. This allows you to get one website with five pages on there. You have a landing page and then you can add four more websites. But if that's not enough for you, then you would need the premium site. If you have a really detailed landing page, I don't think many people do have that page, but of course there is an option for this, then you will be set back at $39 a month. If you just want to get started and you want to have your landing page ready as fast as possible, then I will just get started with the growth page. This way you can collect emails as quickly as possible. It will be all done within seconds. You can just change a little bit of the text, but AI generate the whole thing. You don't have to do complicated coding or graphic designing or funnel building or any of that. You will just have your emails in one place. You can download them and then everything will be ready. So this is a quick tutorial of how you can build your own landing page using Mixo. If you want to see more of this, then click on the video right there. And if you want to get started right now, head over to the link in the description down below and I will see you in the next video.